whoa, what is this? <laughs> 40 years ago, NASA sent a message to aliens. On September 5th, 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Almost four decades later, that craft is over 12 billion miles from home. Voyager carries a golden record containing a greeting from the people of Earth to the alien life form that may someday find it. On the record is a collection of images and sounds, a short glimpse into the soul of our planet. But since aliens probably wouldn't know what to do with a phonographed record, NASA had to provide a set of instructions on the record cover. But what could they say? How do you begin to communicate with a life form that evolved entirely separately from us? Scientists at NASA had to invent a code that anyone living in the universe might be able to decipher. What? So to do this, they started with what is by far the most commonly found molecule in the universe, hydrogen. This diagram illustrates the transition between the two lowest states of hydrogen. Yeah, but that's, that's Any space-faring civilization will probably understand the properties of hydrogen are. enough to what? know that when this transition happens, Radiation is released, with a definite wave period. In human terms, we say this period is about 0.7 nanoseconds. This wave period is used as the basic unit of measurement for the rest of the diagrams on the cover. These are the instructions on how to make the record work. Assuming aliens wouldn't have record players like we do, NASA included one on the craft, with the needle already in place. This is so ridiculous. These markings are binary code that define the speed you'd need to turn the record to get it to play correctly. Translated, we get over 5.1 billion hydrogen transition wave periods, or about 3.6 seconds per rotation. At this speed, you would begin to hear greetings in 55 different languages. Hello from the children of planet Earth. This would be followed by music and sounds from Earth. What the like train fuck? In motion, Why the fuck do they want to know this? Firecracker. I can assure you, laughter, I, I, I highly fire. doubt an alien would give a fucking flying fuck. This about section this. explains how images they would can not be pieced give a together shit about from this. Be like, what the heck is this junk? A replica of the first image on the recording is shown here, so the viewer can verify they decoded the signals correctly. In total, there are 116 images on the record. They show our solar system, our planet, and ourselves. Without much to erode it in space, the golden record is estimated to survive for a billion years, traveling aimlessly through the Milky Way. It's impossible to say whether Voyager or its twin, Voyager 2, will ever be found and retrieved by another life form. But as Carl Sagan, who chaired the golden record project, put it, it would be impolite not to say hello. Says who? Says who? Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from the International Space Station. Oh wait, he's uh, in the Space Every time we eat it's station? kind of fun. Uh, everything will float around if you don't manage it. So we have some tape to stick things on on our table here, as well what as a bunch fuck? of Velcro. Oh my All right, god! So the first thing we what? need for our sandwich is a piece of bread. Well up here we don't have bread like you do on Earth, but we have tortillas. So we use tortillas a lot for uh, sandwiches, so Tortilla. that's what I'm going to use for my peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to stick that down to some tape here so it doesn't go floating away Ew, while I'm getting what? everything else ready. Ew. So I'll get my peanut butter out, and uh, even the lids on the peanut butter have a piece of Velcro on it so they don't go floating away. If I let it go, it'll kind of just float there um, for a little while, and then eventually the, the air conditioning system in here will take it away somewhere else, so I don't want to lose it. That's insane! Uh, so I'm going to stick it on the table. I'll scoop out some peanut butter for my sandwich. I gotta stick this somewhere, otherwise it just goes floating away too. But just for now, if it's just a few seconds like this, I can just leave it and let it float. I'll spread the peanut butter on my sandwich. What the, the fuck? That's scary. Ew, that's so scary. Ew, and ew, that's so scary. I get my ew, jelly ew, ready. Ew, that's so scary. Ew, 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 that's scary. It's a lot ew. of things you gotta think about and manage while you're, while you're eating up here. <gasps> And you just spread the jelly on the sandwich. Oh my god, it's trying to float away! That as well needs to get uh, attached to the table. So there's my peanut butter and jelly tortilla or sandwich. From up here, I'll just kind of close it up. Oh my god, this is terrifying. And enjoy. Let's see if you guys can enjoy it as it's coming to you. in space. What do they do? Suction? They got vacuum? You have to poop in a vacuum? Ew. Ew, where does the poop go in space? Ew, is there petrified?
find poop floating in space? Oh, what the fuck? Somebody snuck a gun the video in here? Space videos, not Gundam videos. Yes, Gundam is space. Oh God. 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 No. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god, 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 oh god. That's not real. 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 Ain't no globe earth. Shut the fuck up. Don't bring that shit over here. Oh my god, that's not real. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how like. Oh god. Why? Why does it do that? Why does it do that when he moves? Like the image like warps. Oh god. Dear god. Do a kick flip. Do a kick flip. Whoever came over here and said that the Earth is not a globe, get the fuck out of my chat. Flat Earthers, shut the fuck up. <laughs> my content is not for you. I only like round things. Planets, women's asses, round balls. If you like flat shit, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Why would you watch these if you're afraid of space? <sighs> I don't know. Why do people get dressed up in the morning even though they don't want to get dressed? I mean, psh. Why not? Why is it that sometimes a person spits into their own mouth and drinks it? You tell me. There are mysteries in this world that cannot be explained. For I do not have all the answers. Stand by for terminal count at T-minus 10. My job is to open and close doors. The most important doors I control are the airlocks. Most doors are trivial. The interior doors are simple hydraulics. But the airlocks, they are much more difficult to operate. Precise, the finely fuck are we tuned mechanisms to? A keeping fucking out door? the vacuum of space. It is the human's way of entering and leaving this spaceship. Dear Whenever God. the human wishes to leave, I vent the gases. And when the human wishes to re-enter, the chamber is Did he just say vent? Oh my god, Imposter! Oh my god, Among Us! Among Us! Among Us! Among Us! Among Us! Oh my god, Sus! What is this? It's all about the communication now. Here it goes! Are they screaming whore? What's happening? It sounds like they're screaming whore. Gotta stop it in the circle, but can't touch it? Wait, what? Hard! Oh, they're saying hard. <laughs> I thought they were yelling whore. I'm like, oh my god. Are they taunting each other? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Why is it that this sport just seems like an excuse to teach people how to mop and sweep the floor? Because what the fuck is going on? Somebody was like, hey, I got a great game for you to try. Just take this mop and take this broom and sweep it in front of this thing. They are vigorously... <laughs> right, on to the next sport. I don't understand. What's Kabadi? What is this? The thumbnail looks wild. Whoa, what the fuck? What is this? What is this? This is tripping? Is this like tripping people? Tripping the sport. Oh my, oh my god, what the heck? Yo, what the fuck? 
Oh my god, what is this sport? What is this sport? How come I've never heard of it? What is this sport? Give me another sport quick. Quick. Give me a weird sport quick. Let's head over to the Highland Games, an event what where guys this? with tilts, they pick up telephone poles, and then they run with them. <laughs> what? Are you? Who thought of this thing? Who thought this up? Who thought this up? And then attempt to flip them over. This One, is real? One, two, failure. That guy did not flip over that. One, two, failure. Telephone pole, he loses. Next guy running really fast. He's going to flip it and no. It's called the caber toss. The it was invented sport. way, way, way long ago when they were bored as fuck really. and just cut down trees and tried to run and throw them. I read somewhere that they this was how they moved logs to get over rivers and stuff, and that's just patently false. You would just, like, drag it, you know? You wouldn't <laughs> make one dude move. This guy fucking... <laughs> this guy narrated... What the heck? Who... <laughs> That's just false. <laughs> the log on his own. But it's a fun game, and I get that. This guy looks too scrawny to do it. Does he do it? No. So if you get it to flip over, then what you have to look at, what the judges notice, is that what point does the base hit? What hour on the clock? That's like 1.30. I don't know if that's good. I think they said that noon or midnight is the best. <laughs> that lady's excited That lady's the best. Like, yeah. This guy, bald head, got wings on his shirt, kind of. Shirt doesn't match the kilt, and yeah, you got to match better if you want to throw. <laughs> ooh, ooh, real wobbly with green socks. He's running along, and oh, so close. Almost had it. This guy goes on to win it eventually, and bam, good form. Got like a double bounce on the log there. This guy, these guys told him he better throw it. They put a lot, of a lot of money on him throwing the thing, and they're just staring him down. <laughs> And here he goes. Is he going to throw it or is he going to be a man of honor and try to win it? And oh no. Wow. Doesn't uh, want to get killed by those two guys in the suits. <laughs> and that's a nice toss. I don't know what the judges would call that one, but he didn't win. But I thought it looked good. Scrawny guy again. And oh, good effort though. Oh my God. How strong the are these men? Look he at his face. He comes to like a full stop and then tries. He failed. He got to be tired. How do they? Men that have like their butts pole. like green socks falling out. running like a mile with the log. It seems like Hermes. he's gonna waste a lot of effort there. Doesn't even come close. Go back to our champion in the red with the gray hair, and he gets it over again. Don't know the official scoring system, like if it's points or whatever, but he won. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Give me another sport, quick! This sport has everything. The thrill of victory and the agony of the feet. Three, two, one, toes away. Right. Fierce combatants in England faced off in a toe wrestling competition. Toe wrestling has been around since the 1970s. It's similar to arm wrestling. Toe wrestlers intertwine their toes and try to edge their opponent's foot. <laughs> Bruh. Stop it at edge. <laughs>